Hey, what's going on, everybody? We are back. Um, so after a couple of days or maybe even a week of Kabam not really giving us any new update regarding the anniversary update, uh, Kabam Vidius has posted a new thread on the forums, uh, pretty much giving us a rundown of what's to come um, with, I guess, like the Bumblebee event that's attached to the anniversary update. So let's dig in. Greetings, Commanders. Our favorite chatterbox is making this comeback to help launch the celebration of our two-year anniversary. Join us for two weeks of action-packed fun featuring Bumblebee, Dark of the Moon, and Bumblebee Generations. You read that you read right. It's your second chance to add a four-star Bumblebee Dark of the Moon to your roster, or an even more powerful five-star version of both. Starting March 28th to April 11th, you can get your hands on the Bumblebee featured crystal. You can use Energon to try your luck and head over to raids to get your shards. From March 28th to April 4th, you can, uh, you can play raids for Bumblebee shards and you will be able to gather your points for yourself and your alliance to gain more. After completing raids, you will be able to join in on alliance missions to get shards between April 4th and April 8th. During this time, you can also test your bot's strength and head over to the Bumblebee featured arenas that will run from April 4th to April 11th. The shards you can earn in all of these events can get you a chance in, uh, at the following. Good as Gold Crystal, which is 150 Energon, uh, it gives you a chance to get 2-4 to four star uh, at either Bumblebee or any other bot. Uh, gold Wheel Crystals, and that's the upgraded one, which is like 3-5 to five star chance at getting either Bumblebees. And that will cost... Uh, 300 Energon and 5,000 Bumblebee Shards. And I think that's the one a lot of people are going to be gunning for. Uh, so, yeah. Good luck out there, Commanders. We look forward to seeing you all in a new Contessa fighting for your chance at Bumblebee. And that's the post. So, yeah. The Bumblebee event is back. It's in full swing. And it hasn't really changed. I was really hoping that there would be slight different nuances not even slight but just like different things added on to uh what was the previous bumblebee event just to make it much more interesting but kabam just like you know copy paste the full thing uh for the anniversary update and um uh, you know i'm i'm i guess i'm happy <laughs> It's better than nothing so far. Um, there hasn't been any real update with regards to what the anniversary with, with with regards to what eight point will entail. I would really really like to know uh, more details regarding that. Um, but aside from that, uh, which is strange because they because Kabam really didn't address anything with regards to the uh, calendar update. That we got in game so let's switch over to that so that's my base uh yeah so this is so this is the anniversary daily login and um it's 14 days of just rewards just for logging in so make sure you do that um yeah so day two you have your superior crystals which is like your um your chance in getting four star signature, uh, which is your chance in getting like three or uh, or four star signature upgrades. You got your five thousand bot chips and your fifty thousand gold, um, and you got your tier two spark class. And what's this one? Oh, I think that's the premium mod crystal. Yeah, I don't think that's really important to be honest. And then the next one is the Goda's Gold Crystals, which gives you a chance in getting a, a four star. And then tier two alpha, 500 um, five star crystal shards, and a tier four night crystal. That's always nice. And 1k essence of uh, tier four basic. And I'm actually looking forward to the following day, day 12 which is five star signature upgrades. I already have 15 and I've been waiting on that. Like I've just been building them up for the longest time. Um, 
in hopes that when I get like a really good pull or when I do a, a really nice five star, I'm gonna dump everything on that. And then the very last day, you have a chance in getting this, the tier four uh, essence for, for class crystal. 500 or a thousand, I don't think it's really gonna cut it. And of course, sorry, I forgot, day 13, you got 500 essences for uh, tier three alpha. Yeah, um, so that's actually really nice. Um, but yeah, switch on back. Yeah, like it's it's nice that we're getting a trickle of news. I'm I'm still waiting on like the meat of what's to come. Actually, that sounds so wrong. Why would I say that? <laughs> I'm waiting for the actual news uh, regarding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for the actual news regarding the um, the update to see what the uh, the change log will entail. Like, what are the bot balances? If there's any new features, um, you know, so on and so forth. I really hope Kabam doesn't drop the ball on this one because I know for a fact that a lot of players, a lot of veteran players, I might add, are really hanging on to their dear lives. Um, okay, not as not as dramatic as that, but they're really, you know, their their need to continue on playing this game really hangs in the balance with regards to what this update is going to bring to the table. And kabam, if they screw this up, this is like the prime opportunity to really, you know, uh, make all those naysayers, you know, make them look dumb. But if it's exactly as what the naysayers have been saying, which they've been saying that this update is really it's not gonna it's not gonna amount to anything, then I think we're gonna have some issues on our hands with regards to veterans leaving the game in doves. Um, but yeah, fingers crossed, guys. And I think that's it for the video. Thank you for watching, and uh, have a good night. Cheers.